Welcome, everyone, to another episode of the Adeptus Ridiculous Podcast, although this is a very special episode because we are going to be going over the winners of our night contest. Finally, finally. And it was not, it was not easy. But before we get into the winners, if you enjoy today's episode, if you enjoy all of this wonderful night contest tomfoolery, head over to patreon.com slash Adeptus Ridiculous. Consider supporting us there. You know all of the stuff you can get. There's an absolutely yoked Ultramarine poster that you should definitely support. He's half naked. It's great. Anyway, patreon.com slash Adeptus Ridiculous. Bricky, how you feeling about the night contest? How, how we feeling about the winners? It was hard. It was really hard. It was really hard. I feel I feel terrible. There there is a significant amount of really really good knights that aren't going to be able to make it into the top ten because we only had ten and we got way too many submissions. At least we have the actual like full stream that's available mm -hmm. to watch, which Shy I will assume will put it in the description of this video so that if your knight was uh, you know rated, see like we tried to see every single one that we got and discuss them on like a four hour long stream. <laughs> Makes and me tired just thinking about it. It really does. And it was pretty darn hard to bring it down to 10. It was really damn hard. It was grueling looking at all of the stuff that like wasn't in the top 10 and wasn't getting like a prize because oh my God, there's so much stuff that's just like, oh, you deserve an award, but there's only 10 spots. Yeah, it's it was constantly like, oh, we made our top. We okay, this is what we have for our top ten. Feeling pretty good about it. Oh, what about that night? Like, oh yeah, I forgot. Like that night, and then it's like, oh, what this night? It's like, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Look, luckily we didn't we didn't end up straying from our top ten pretty much at all. We 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 fell pretty like at the end of the day, it's mainly like, all right, we're pretty happy with our top ten, but holy shit, hell. Is it too bad that we can't grab all these other amazing ones? Yeah, also, we, we probably had enough for like a top 50. And and Shy apparently said that we got over 400 images to the email alone. Oh, wow. That's which a is a lot of images. Wow. You guys are crazy. <laughs> so I guess it's about, I guess it's time. It's time. Let's 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 talk All about right. our top ten. Let's do well, it. Well, let's uh, start off. We do have one singular honorable mention that we would uh, like to throw out. Uh, 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 it is uh, it is by a a gentleman or lady I don't know uh, named Quetz on Twitter. Uh, they seem to have made an account for this night in particular, and the reason it's an honorable mention is because the contest was for both knight and pilot. And they do not have a pilot submitted. However, uh, they made a, a night house scythe class, and it looks, it, it looks like it, it looks like genuine GW fucking cover art. Yeah, it looks like it could cover a codex for for GW. It's so good. Like we were at we what were we arguing having it at like six or seven, and then it was like wait, there's no pilot, and then it was like oh. Yeah, it was it was oh, really really no. too bad because we and that's the only post they have on their Twitter, so we're assuming it's the only one, which is too bad because it's so good. it's so good it's, it's so, so good. good. I was gonna put it at six. <laughs> yeah, so we're throwing it as an honorable mention uh, for that simple reason because it was so damn good that we want to throw it in there, but yep, yep, fortunately not. Yeah. Um, yep. DK, yep. would you? I guess we'll we'll go back and forth. Um. Sure. Cool. Read number ten. God, it's it's the uh, it's the Necromunda one. It's yeah. The one that looks like a bunch of um. They're in this big yellow night, and man, the quality. DK, on this thing you is... already you already fucked it up. You didn't what? give the name what? of the of the artist. What? Yes. You... Okay. Yeah, I did already fuck it up, didn't I? Yes, you did. All right. Yeah, I already, I already, I already fucked it up. All right. It's oh no. Do I really gotta say this one? It's. Mm hmm. But Necromunda holy... Knight. Yes, our number 10. The uh, the Necromunda Knight here, which is... Uh, I should know this more than us. What is the name of this Necromunda, um, like, what are they called? Gang? Oh, they're, yeah, they're like a gang or something, but... Oh, boy, it is. Escher. Escher? Really? Escher. Okay. Cool. Yes, yes. 
it is a phenomenal amount of work put into this thing. I, I really I really like not only the uh, I like the perspective a lot. Um, there's a lot of like if you look at the bottom left hand corner, there's a lot of like blurred out fate fizzy parts because of the um, the steam and stuff from the chain blade. Then you see like the bullet ricocheting off the carapace. Mm -hmm. And you see that this like the steam venting out of the plasma gun. There's there's just a lot of effort put into that. Not to mention the fact that man, there's there's fucking there's fucking tires and snow chains on the <laughs> holding on the sides and the speakers. Yep. And the pilots look phenomenal too. Like the amount of detail in the pilots and the wiring going into their heads and like all of the 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 visors and the gun that she has is spewing blue flames and there's three of them and it's really good. I really like the fact that the back of the the, the top looks like a seat. It looks like those old school like oh, yeah, uh, burgundy like colored yeah, 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 yeah burgundy seats. Also, if you zoom in really close. Uh, on the bottom, uh, you can see that the knight is not only called Big Boy, but it also <laughs> right below that, to the right of his face, it says Sussy Baka. Oh my god, it does, doesn't it? Yup. It does. I also like that it has the uh, the, the, the kill tabs. Uh, I, on, I like the kill tallies. The, the kill tallies are very nice. They're, they're very cool. Yeah. It's, it's going to keep, keep really upping it, considering that this is gang violence. <laughs> despite Gang the violence. despite the peace sign on the top right below the plasma gun. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh it's so good. Oh. All so right. Good. Solid 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 work. Number 9 is a a wonderful combo a war dog between a uh, a pilot and a gunner and this is done by do do do, do Lucas Lima. Lucas hey. Ligma Balls. Wow, it's um, Lima. Okay. Lima balls. Damn. Okay. Damn. This okay. is the Hagris Griffins uh, Armager Warglaive. I like this one a lot. I do too. It's 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 very clean. It's very well done, and I I I love the concept of just the gunner just hanging out on top of the warglaive, just fixing everything as it gets damaged. I, I just appreciate. Kinda riding. I it's it's so clean. I appreciate both that and the, uh, I, you know, I like I like them throwing around the, the gender stereotypes a little bit. The pilot is the pompous looking douche mm -hmm. night guy, and the gunner looks like she's ready to to kick someone's ass with the ham or with the oh, uh, the yeah. wrench itself. You know. Yep. There's a yep. whole lot going on here. Also, it it looks straight out of a fucking Pixar movie. Like. Oh yeah, it does. It it it, it does look like it could have its own like feature, um, full length cartoon movie. Sure. It's it's a very well made. It's very clean, and it could absolutely you could you could totally see it being made in like a Disney Pixar type thing, which oh, I think no. adds a lot to it. Despite the fact that I would be very curious what a Pixar Warhammer movie would be like. <laughs> that would that would indeed be a very interesting um, uh, clashing of themes. Yeah, Pixar forty k. Yeah, let's. Mm. And then the little, and then the robot took the lady's flesh and and hang it, hung it on him as a, as a cape. Oh God! And then yeah. the robot had a panic attack. Oh God! Oh God! You thought up was sad. <laughs> Just wait until the robot skins the pretty lady. The only um, great thing about the only thing going up is my anxiety. <laughs> wow! All right. All right. All right, buddy. That was number nine. You're up. Number eight. Number eight. Uh. This is the uh, Bricky coined it the Necron Knight. Um, yeah. I guess it, I guess it kind of is because uh, on their Twitter post. Um, so this winner is named Meta uh, on Twitter, and in their post they said, "This is my last minute submission to the Freeblade competition." She was once part of a night house on a fringe world until they discovered a Necron tomb complex buried beneath their planet. Necron Knight. Necron Knight. Oh, it looks so good too. It, um, it looks really good. I love the option for the helmet. Oh, I yeah. love, I love like the, like the, the squinty eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I just, I don't know something about the way the, uh, the juxtaposition of this giant, fearsome, crazy, glowing green knight next to this just sort of like very calm, uh, uh pilot just, just sitting there, very stoic, no big deal. Next to this just giant, ferocious beast of a night is just fantastic i 
It's it's really it, this looks like it could very easily be a movie poster. It really does. I like I don't know what you'd call this kind of drawing. Um it I, I don't know like, like there's a spe- there's a specific way on how this is this is drawn and I can't particularly put my finger on how it mm-hmm. is, but it has that very specific style to it where it's it look <sighs> what was that part in, in Arcane? Echo and Jinx have their little fight scene and it kind of has like the ink blots and and it oh, kind of like yeah, goes yeah, back yeah, to yeah. them as kids. It kind of yeah. has that. I, there's an I, artists right now are, are cringing so hard at me right now. I, <laughs> I don't know the goddamn name of that kind of style art, but you know what? I also think is kind of neat. She she kind of looks like a marionette. Oh yeah, she does have sort of that like uh, almost puppet vibe to her. Yeah, she yeah. like very very skinny, very like like um, small like the arms because of the Necron stuff, but like the the hairstyle, her face looks very a little a little dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I totally get that. She does give off definite marionette sort of puppet vibes. You yeah, are, and then you are not wrong. Combine that with the enormous war machine behind her. Combine that with the <laughs> red, the black and green Necron tech. Mm-hmm. It's a really good, uh, really good combination. Yeah, yeah. And that was our number eight. Again. That was our number, was number eight. eight. Our number seven is by Dylan Cameron, and we hey. call it the Nurgle Knight because it's number seven. God damn it! Hey, hey. number seven. Number it's, seven. It is wild, though. This thing is fucking insane. <laughs> there, this, this is. They've decided to infect even their art style, and it is. Oh my god! Like the level it's of haunting. Yeah, haunting is the perfect word for it. The level of detail is crazy with all the boils, all of the little spores, the skull. F- it's so good. And the pilot is, oh, God, the pilot is all fucked up. The, um, the, pi- the pilot, this is, a, this is a full-on, a full-on Nurgle night in every sense of the words. Every sense of the word, this is Nurgle. It's, ugh. It's, got, it's got gross little tentacles coming out of its stomach and eye. Yep. And, and mouth, and then the the knight itself has like a similar thing on its helmet, but also like the the overgrowth on its shoulders and back oh, carapace. Yeah. It's it's everything. You you did Papa Nurgle proud or Grandpa Nurgle. This is right? a a, yeah. a dark horror ass looking blisterborn ass. Like oh, it, it yeah. literally looks like it crawled out of like Dagobah. <laughs> it does. It, oh, it's, it the. Imagine being on uh, uh, in a battle and this fucker walks up on you. Oh, you you, uh, you wouldn't even you would know it was there like a mile away. You could smell <laughs> that fish from a mile away. <laughs> you probably could. Um, but yeah, it's it's really good. It's very good. Great, yes. great number seven. Appropriate number seven as appropriate. well. Appropriate. Yep. Very appropriate. Yep. You're up, my dude. Uh, and our next one is, uh, I mean, Shy was specifically looking for this one because uh, it's uh, it's it's by Dromadillo, and it's uh, it's like a, a orc pirate. It's an orc pirate night where you can rent a Yumi night. You can rent a Yumi night. Don't don't forget to read the rest of the sign. Oh, oh shit! Uh, what does the rest of the sign say? One thousand teeth equals one good crumpin. <laughs> it's fair. This, this is good. That's good. Uh, there's also a hundred teeth equals one good daka. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, one good yeah. Daka. One good crumpin. One good daka. The, the mm-hmm. crumpin is obviously more expensive. I I really like this night for for like five fucking like different reasons. Oh, I I love the pilot. Look how scared he is. <laughs> He's so he's so freaked out. Yeah, <laughs> giant um, free Buddha orc just pointing at him. He's like, "Hey!" <laughs> just the concept of this thing is 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 phenomenal. Let alone like obviously, really, really, really phenomenal like art, but just the concept of renting a Yumi knot and the free Buddha just renting out a human um, is just it's it's such a good concept and it's so well done. And I mean, I think it speaks for itself. It does. Not to mention the awesome um, Lehman Rust tank head I see on the top left that the orc is riding like a sleigh. It's <laughs> it's just great. It is it is yeah. excellent. It's excellently fun stuff. The rent a Yumi knot. Also, yeah. let's not forget that it's um the the person's name is is 
this L on their Twitter post says, step right up and witness Grok Nuts Teeth Slappers. <laughs> <laughs> so they even got the orc name fucking great. I love yep. it. Yep, yep. They 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 did a really, really good job. They're also, um, I don't know, if you go to the Twitter post, they actually do have um, a read all about it uh, section where it's uh, where it has accompanied lore. Oh, uh, so uh, if you go to Dromadillo's Twitter, uh, you can actually find the post and they have a read all about it here that gives a little uh, story stuff about it. So, Dope. yeah, very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. For our number five, I have it written down as Gold Red Edgelord. <laughs> and uh, this is by someone known as Knee, as in like your knee. Yeah, your kneecaps. Um, yeah. This is one of my favorites uh, because the color and the style is very up my alley. Replace the red with magenta, and you've basically got my favorite thing ever. Yep. Um, this is uh, like what, what's it when you put the Dark Souls signs down in Elden Ring, and it's like Edge, comma Lord. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah, it, it, it's it's a, it's a little edgy for sure. It's fucking great though. Oh hell yeah! Like this shit looks like it's straight out of Gundam, um, and being a giant weeb and just a giant Gundam slut, uh, it's 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 pretty right up my alley. Um, this is all art direction for me. Like, mm -hmm. the, the I mean the quality of of the of the actual thing is incredible. The shading, the lighting, the 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 wear and tear on the night you can see. Yep. It's all incredible. But I think what sells this for me is absolutely the art direction. The dude. Looks awesome. I can't even tell if he... I'm assuming he's an Imperial. Because it's, it's so funny how this guy lathered in skulls and his flaming staff. It's like, that's an Imperial, probably. <laughs> probably, yeah. Two, two regal. Oh, also, there's the giant winged eagles on the shoulder, which might be a giveaway. But mm, not, not the point. Maybe in the giant Aqu uh, Aquila on the on the chest piece. You know, there's that, I mean, too. That might, maybe. The point point being is I like how the guy covered in skulls is the Imperial guy. And then yep. you get some cool ideas for its weaponry. There's like the Meltas I see on the on the chest, but there's also like this harpoon combined with flamer looking thing on the left. And then uh, I'm assuming it's some kind of thermal melt lance on the right. It's like they combine the, the Valiant and the um, Castellan into one. Just mm. the, the, the red and the gold and i love the helmet both on the guy and the knight oh. oh yeah uh the the knight literally looks like it's wearing a crown um and yeah, yeah like like you said the art like those giant aquilas on like the shoulder are so fucking cool i i love that they can they can use the color of the plasma to be able to kind of offset the red with a little light blue and stuff on the top mm -hmm. it's it is also even look at the background. You can see two planets, a moon, and fallen yep. stars. I was about to say, like, we're getting lost in the front, but that background is insane. With like all the meteors and like the two planets, and it's just whew. Also that Edgelord staff with the flaming skull on is pretty dope. So yeah, uh no surprise that this is uh as high as it is. Yeah, this so. this is this is a, a clean number five. Oh which means super that super clean. Which means that you get to talk about our number four, my buddy. <laughs> we have our Chicken Knight done by Omri Gilkis. I hope I said that right. I hope I didn't butcher that too badly. But we have uh, our Chicken Knight that is just... It is a combination of uh, really good artwork and a whole shitload of detail and just so many hilarious little easter eggs that how how could how could we deny the chicken knight i um, fucking love this knight so much <laughs> there's so much going on in this picture too there's so much going on there he's 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 frying an orc in a pan with uh 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 little fire spirits that has yep. a, a a spatula and a flamethrower underneath it um, You've got the the Gatling gun that's firing out little chicks with chicks. a giant basket of egg <laughs> ammo that yeah. is firing out spent egg shells on the side. Not to mention the cuckoo clock bayonet beneath yep. it. Yep, yep. <laughs> and his his little uh, 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 coxcomb. Well, I guess that's the top part, right? But his little uh, uh, jowls are connected to a flamethrower. Um, it's oh, there's it's just there's so much to unpack. 
not and to it's mention so well done. the knight is called I think it's Sigmus Pullum. <laughs> or, or, or uh, maybe it's Ignis, I think, which is like flaming chicken, I believe. Yes, yes. I don't know if that's the name of the. Yeah, yeah that's the name of the knight. You're right. I, I don't know what the name of the pilot is, but yeah, the little banner on the front is. Oh, it's not, great. Not to mention the little like gobble gobble parts beneath the uh, the face are actually, are actually um the the tubes that feed the flamethrower <laughs> yeah. mouth. And, like and if you look, referring to it as the gobble gobble. Part. I, I, I forget the name of it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> okay, and then if you look at it in the left, you see like the actual pilot. Not only does he have the giant chicken helmet and stuff, he even has a bird servitor. On <laughs> oh my god, he does! I never noticed him. that. <laughs> yes, he does. There's oh, so it's... much effort put into this. Oh, there's yeah, it's it's really good. We we could not we could not leave that out. There's just there's no way. It was really difficult. We we wanted to put it in the in the big top three, uh, but it just got edged out. It just, just barely missed out. It just missed missed out. Yeah, I think Bricky wanted to put it in top three, but I think uh, Shy and I overruled it and uh, put it just yeah. outside. So yeah, so if, you know, it's not my fault. Yeah, no, it's your fault. Okay, you, you didn't make a more compelling case. Uh, number three. Uh, getting into our big top three, um, it, oh, we, I don't think we mentioned this, but we'll remind everyone. Uh, everyone in the top 10 gets 50 bucks, but the top three, uh, three gets 100, two gets 250, and, and first place gets $500. So um, that's why, you know, edging out, you know, I just, yeah, whatever. Um, I forgot to mention that. Because um, <laughs> I mentioned it in the night original episode. Oh, but, yeah, 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 yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this one is by Theo Moritz, and it is our uh, little tapestry night here. Um, this one was really hard. We we were deciding whether to put this in number two or number three, uh, and because this is also a hand done, he literally holds it up himself. Yeah. Uh, but I think we mentioned that it was mainly digital, and so we can't give him bonus points for hand done. So we settled with three, mm -hmm. despite that all. In incredible yeah the, incredible the, the level of detail and the amount of work that must have gone into this is beyond me the the effort and amount put into the night itself the pilot is actually one of my favorite pilots that we've had that in all of the entries mm -hmm. both mm -hmm. just for the look but the uh, genuine realism to it it looks like a pretty genuine ass 40k like pilot like that yeah. i would if you put that in a book in a codex i'd completely believe it mm -hmm. um and and they also did all of the lore for it too like this looks like it is a genuine um like a lineage scroll that you would hang up in in the in in the family hall for everyone to see just how great this person was and all of their good deeds and Whew, holy this is shit. this is the kind of shit that the person would tell you about for like four hours when you have to wait and listen to the deeds of the house. <laughs> exactly, oh, it's so good. And uh, the picture of the dude holding it up—it is, he, it, it's an actual like tapestry. Like this is, it's 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 like uh, kind of I don't want to say ruined paper, but it's kind of that um... parchment. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's kind of like it's a little faded, and it's like, oh my god, this is so cool. Yeah, like, even like the bottom left, you could see like the colorful, the poly, uh, hard words. Arrow G represents. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Arrow G represents the way they operate. Oh, white is the color of their patriarch. Blue, their nobility, and red, their people. Like, there's a whole thing. They they even got like the logo or like the the night house heraldry on the right hand side. You could see like the the skull and the star and the three different banners. It's the the only the only issue I take with this knight is the gun on the left. There's so much shit going on. <laughs> yeah, that's right. There's a there's oh boy. That that looks like it should be an orc gun. Uh with all of the stuff going on. There's a laser scope, there's a barrel, there's a barrel under that. Is that a is that a melt? There's, there's, there's a flamethrower beneath there. It's And there's an there's a smaller pistol one <laughs> under the flamethrower too. <laughs> it's total shenanigans, but I love total it. Shenanigans. But the deep look at all the the detail and all the mechanics too. It's just like holy Holy shit! Holy shit! Yeah, this Holy is shit. this is good stuff. There, there's there's a reason this got to number three. Yeah, definitely. Um, 
though number two dk number two was by wires in a box on twitter and this is their free blade of the archipelago and good god like <laughs> this thing is straight up skill um, i i i this is straight up out of a miyazaki film yeah i mean it's it's so gorgeous um, I think what really sells it for me is just that that crazy rose pattern throughout the whole thing on the robes and all over the night. It just gives it so much more like style and finesse and it just makes everything so thematic. The night matches perfectly with the pilot. The pilot looks fantastic and it's just uh yeah. I'm yeah. I'm it's I'm hard to to put a lot of this into words. It's just it's a lot, a lot like with the the awesome um, golden red edgelord knight, which is just how I'm going to call it now. Um, <laughs> it's this that that art style, the art direction, and it's time it, it finds a way to be both cute but also incredibly inspired. Like, mm -hmm. I'm I'm shocked how just how definitive their idea was. Yeah, there there's they were so like this is exactly what I want. This is how I want it to look like. All of the style, all of the ideas, all the effort put into it, the everything from the background and the every the blades of grass even have like their that style to it. I love how on their um robes, whatever you want to call that, the the rose kind of like flower fluff, it, it crosses between the white and the red, and it does that thing where like it swaps colors. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. Just a, so much effort thrown into something in such a horrible universe. <laughs> and so that looks so good. I am I, I'm kind of kind of at a loss for for words on this one. Yeah. Yeah, I I also love the fact that the knight is very similarly robed to the pilot. Like the shoulders have the robes flowing off of it. It has the little uh sort of flags on the front. It's just they match so well. They match it's just so good. It's 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 phenomenal. I, I know a lot of people really like to go harder into like the the mega grim dark variants for the knights, but I really enjoy the the contrast with it, with the universe and all that. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, I think it's pretty fucking great. Oh yeah, it's fantastic. There's very little else that needs to be said except it's just 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 look at it. Just look at it. Just, just look, look at it. Just look at it. Just look at it. All right, Bruce, oh, you want to you want to hit him with the number one? It's time. It's, it's time. time for the big boy. Let me let Little me get all the images. Boy, the let number one. Let me grab all the images real quick because I need to. I because okay. I I gotta gotta get all all four images. Yeah. Um. It is number one. Our number one winner. Our big lad. Top level knight is by where the hell is by Flip Cole. For their Slanesh Knight Splendor. This mm -hmm. has so much going uh, into it oh, yeah. that I just, I, I, I love, I, I love so much of it. So it's a Slanesh Knight mm -hmm. and you've got the actual Knight itself, which has these enormous speakers, <laughs> has a Slanesh themed guitar mm -hmm. that with, with a, a chain guitar, mind you. <laughs> Yep. A chain guitar. <laughs> chain guitar. With its screaming speakers all up, down, left, and right, this goddamn thing. Mm -hmm. Um, you've got the pilot who is this <laughs> tweaked out muscle man um who has his cape being held onto his body via syringes <laughs> like Bane. Yep. His his boots have the Slanesh logo Slanesh. on mm -hmm. the bottom. They do. He's yoked. And, and he even has a goddamn poster. Come in splendor. Come into a planet near you. Yep, like it's a fucking concert poster. Ev evacuation futile. <laughs> <laughs> this, this was unanimously our number one. There was like no debate. All of us were just like, yeah, splendor has to get one, right? Yeah, we just 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 the but the same reason why we loved the um uh the free the number two entry and also the number five, it's just because they knew exactly what they wanted. Yep, there they, was they, no hesitation. They got this yoked out Slanesh motherfucker <laughs> with the, and they gun 
full hardcore rock concert of death. Mm -hmm. I love uh, that they made the image of like what the night can do that shows all like the flames, the laser smoke and the lights. Th this night uh, can has has a literal stage that the pilot can stand on and have a full ass concert. The night is the stage. It's uh, it's so great. It, there's so cool so much effort that went into this one i mean the, i mean all the knights had plenty of effort you know sure but Obviously. they went above and beyond there is a level here the the just the poster alone the the <laughs> goddamn poster just splendor and even even the font of splendor it's just like a metallica like you know oh, yeah it's so hard rock yeah so well done yeah. absolute shenanigans in in a completely um, just the points for ingenuity. Oh yeah, and and like we said, they they sent in like was it five different like really in depth, um, submissions for this thing. Like it was just next level detail and just above and beyond. So yeah, unanimous. Our unanimous number one was Splendor. By and Cole. and granted, despite the, the one number one being a Splendor, goddamn hard top ten. Oh, it's so difficult. Like, there's so many other ones that I was like, oh, this would be good, but... Wait, we're already at 10? What? Yeah. There are, Can't we they, do, like, like wait, eight that's more? 10? <laughs> Can't we do eight, 10 more? Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah we, we were already at 10 was a common statement. But despite it all, a uh, huge congratulations to the top mm -hmm. 10. Uh, we will uh, definitely, I'm assuming Shy will reach out to all of you. Get your PayPal's. Get your whatevers. Get you, send send you your winnings. Yep. All be good. A big um big up to our top three as well for from uh Flip Cole, Wires in a Box, and Theo Morit. The three of you, double congratulations for hitting the top three. Hell, uh, yeah. this was great. I know it took us a little bit of time to rent them uh, to review them all, but four hundred images just in the email. That's not even counting the ones we got on Twitter. Yeah. Oh. So there were probably like over 500 of these things. So it, it, it took us a little time, but, uh, you know, here we are. Here we are. And uh, thank you to everybody that entered, not just the winners, but everybody that sent one in. We appreciate it. Uh, I don't know if we were expecting this big of a turnout. Nope. But, whew, boy, y'all are some talented motherfuckers, by the way. Absolutely. It, sh it actually showed us how shockingly how many of our fans are pretty insane um artists mm -hmm. and good because then <laughs> i can ask you for more bullshit doge van dyer fan art <laughs> next time we need to do like a top 50 <laughs> if we ever do one of these again we need to do like a top 50 this is too hard to narrow it down to 10 all right fuck fuck 50 dollars the top 10 people get 500 dollars for each feet pick